Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and my Retro Game Box have sent me yet another lovely box full of retro goodies for me to unbox right about now. So, enough mucking around, should we just crack it open? So as usual, it's only being held down with one piece of sellotape. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Yet again, I'm presented, oh I can see a SNES game already, presented with these lovely fluffy things here. Let's have a look, oh I've got a My Retro Game Box. Um, What's this, some sort of code? 15% off my next order. Very nice indeed. I can already see they haven't put them in the little cases these time. The little cases, I mean the little bags. We've got the Page Master on the SNES. That's quite interesting. What else we got? We've got a Game Boy game here. What's this? Dedalian Opus. I have never, ever heard of that game. That should be a laugh. And we've got a NES game in here as well. What do we got here? Battle Chess. Good Lord. It could indeed be a game of chess where you no doubt battle, I'm sure. Well, any other goodies in here, or are we just sticking with the games this time? They're flying all over the place, these things. We're just sticking with the games, it seems. But anyway, let's have a look at how these three games perform on the Retron 5. Battle Chess. Now, this game is basically just chess, as you might imagine. But there are some interesting little quirks behind it. For one, all of your pieces are actual people, and they're fully animated. Unfortunately, the animation is slow, to say the least. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of patience to play this game. You can change them into standard chess pieces and they move a lot quicker, it's basically instantaneous as you can see here, but that's not really in the spirit of things. All the sprites are fairly nicely detailed given the unit that it's running on, but the one thing that saves this game from obscurity is this. I was expecting little animations like this, but not quite to this level. They're actually quite funny in some instances. Some of them are a bit boring and just basic, but some of them really are clever, and I think this one has to be my favourite, because the Queen goes to backstab the King during a hug, but then the King just sort of clonks her on the head and she's dead. I love it. Of course, two-player mode is an option, but what's even more interesting is that you can actually set up the board however you want, which means you can set up traps and even improve your game and develop tactics if that's your kind of thing. Also, it meant that I got to record all of these animations. For its time, this game was no doubt impressive, and considering the fact that you can actually set up the board in any way you want, it really does have an awful lot of options. However, time has not been particularly kind to it, and the fact that things move so slowly, you really are going to get bored quite quickly. But the animations are a laugh. I don't really feel I can recommend this game, but I do like it as an idea. It's just got too many flaws to really be worth recommending. The Page Master. Now, this game comes from a time when platformers really were the thing, and I believe this is some sort of tie-in with some sort of TV series or maybe even a film. I didn't actually bother to research it. But you only have to look at it to see that it's clearly emulating something else. As far as the gameplay and the platforming goes, it's pretty average. There's nothing absolutely outstanding about it. It has a few flaws here and there, like for some reason you can't jump on these books, but you can jump on all the others. And for some reason you only seem to use a single button. I also found this guy which you can pick up and throw and I thought maybe I have to take him through the level with me, but I can't actually get him up onto this platform so I just threw him away. However, I don't think I need to tell you that this is a very pretty game, the art style's very strong and the animations in particular are excellent. Unfortunately all this comes at a price and because things are so detailed it means you can't really see what's coming up ahead so you don't have any time to react and you keep dying. Everything rapidly becomes a game of trial and error and that's not what you want from a platformer. You want to be able to react appropriately given the situation and unfortunately this game doesn't deliver it. Daedalian Opus. Now, this is a bit of an odd game. If you look at the artwork on the cartridge here, you can see that it doesn't really correlate in the actual game itself. It's just a basic puzzle game where you've got to fill in a box with certain different bricks so that it fills it entirely. But for some reason, there's these sort of Mario-esque transitions between the different puzzles where you control this strange character that looks nothing like the character on the artwork, and you're given different pieces to increase the difficulty of the game, but at the end of the day, it all feels a bit unnecessary. Having said that, it does give it considerably more character than if it was omitted, and it looks quite pretty in its own way. I don't know why there's a UFO at the top, but when it comes to games at this point, I just stop asking questions. As far as the puzzles themselves go, there's nothing inherently wrong with them or anything particularly exceptional about them. They are just what they are. It's a very solid puzzle game with very interesting themes, but at the end of the day, it's nothing that you can't download for free on iOS or Android. Back in the day though, if you wanted a little puzzle game, you had to pay full price like you would for a game of Pokemon. That seems mad by today's standards, but that's just how it was. So there you have it, three more retro games to add to my collection. You can never have enough, trust me. 
If you want to order a My Retro Game Box of your very own, click the link in the description. Remember, you specify which consoles you own and which games you already have, so you're not going to be sent a load of games that you can't use or that are just duplicates of things you already own, which is nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you let it snow over that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.